It's a freaking get you for a big wall, and this is a dress the culture news. And I'm here with, with, with a tragedy, with a heavy heart to report that Memphis rapper Young Dolph was killed today. Um, it, it, it's a tragedy. He was killed in South Memphis. Uh, reportedly, he pulled up to, to a cookie spot, a store, a local store in Memphis, and a car rolled up on side of him and opened up fire. Reports are still coming out about it. The, 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 the place where he was um, killed at, fans are coming out, family coming out, the police have barricaded the area. They've even told the, the store owners that they think they should close it down because the, the crowd is getting crazy, people are upset. Um, and it, it is one of those tragic moments and, and one of those things that, that we hate to hear in the culture. I'm gonna give you, show you some footage of what's going on in Memphis and I'll be back to address the culture. Police cars surrounding it. Um, and people around here are just standing around trying to get information. And I know they have made the confirmation that it was Young Dolph, but people around here are just trying to figure out what is going on. Very emotional. A lot of people out here trying to see exactly what happened and to confirm if this is what we think it is. And um, they've had people actually start um, yelling about how we have to stop this shooting and this crime and um, that's going on in Memphis. Of course, we don't know the details of exactly what happened right now and how what led to this shooting, but a lot of people very emotional out here. And you see police right now come actually walking some people away because those people were... Um, very vocal and emotional about what's going on and a lot of um people just trying to see exactly what is going on and those who are fans for young Dolph out here a lot of people in disbelief and um just shocked and um this is pretty much you can't even get down this road because we're right beyond the interstate and you're going um going north on airways they have this completely blocked off. In fact, you couldn't even get off the interstate to get onto airways because of the scene that's going on out here. And um, it looks like this will be the case for a long time. You may be able to see the barricades here. They even have the barricades up. You don't see this all the time when they have shootings in Memphis, but because of all the people that have come out here, and I know Ramon's probably been showing you the crowd, people everywhere. Um, the word spread pretty quickly. And people are just trying to see what it is. And a lot of people with their phones, a lot of people um, going live on social media and um, talking about it because this has um, really kind of um, taken a lot of people by surprise and then it's getting a lot of attention, especially on social media and just around the country because Young Dolph was known to um, be a, a very famous rapper and giving back to his community as well. But um, again, we don't know exactly what all is going on. But like I say, tensions are very high. Police trying to kind of calm situations before anything flares up. And you see the officer there say, I'm trying to be as nice as possible, but people are getting angry. And people are um, just really trying to figure out exactly what is going on. But um, Still a lot of um, unanswered questions, but it's still a very um, chaotic scene out here um, as they try to see exactly what led to all of this, Alex. We can see a very well-known car. Uh, we've probably seen it in a lot of rap videos. We've probably seen it on Instagram several or so times. We've probably seen it on Facebook. Um, we know who that car belongs to. Um, you've seen that car before. Uh, you can see that Memphis police are going in and out of Makita's right now. We see homicide detectives. We see uh, felony response on the scene. We see a lot of top brass from the Memphis Police Department on the scene. Uh, and it, it continues to grow. I, I don't know if you can hear it, but Southgate, pan down, pan down. You can see people are, are just hit with emotion here on this scene. Um, a lot of... Uh, the victim's family is on the other side of the tape on Joy Lang. Joy Lang. Um, you can see a lot of the family, the sisters, I believe, of the victim right there at the barricade. Uh, a lot of these stores have been told to shut down. A lot of these stores have been told to shut down um, until further notice because it's just, it's just, it's growing. Yeah. Um this is one of these tragedies, man, that I really hate to see in the culture, man. I actually had the opportunity to link up with Dolph, chop it up with Dolph, get some game from Dolph, man. And he, he was a different dude, man. His mind state, his hustle, everything. So this one kind of hit a little different, you know what I mean? So I had to come to address the culture. But reportedly, young Dolph was killed in South Memphis. 
Um, I'm definitely going to keep you up in tune with everything that's going on. And um, I want to give condolences to his friends, his family, and all his loved ones. Uh, this is your boy, Big Wall, and this is Address the Culture. And like I always say, the culture makes you who you are, so make sure they respect you. We're going to catch you on the next news break. Get up out of here.